18 years since that trembling teenager of touch and tease first tiptoed onto this storied stage. Now in his immaculate maturity, CR7 reunited. At 37 years old, Cristiano Ronaldo is still very much one of the best strikers in the world right now. With a physical capacity similar to that of a footballer in his early 20s and trophy winning ambitions like none other. But in this summer transfer window, he finds himself in a bit of a predicament at Man United, a transitional side that's been struggling to find their rhythm and identity ever since the retirement of Sir Alex Ferguson in 2013. Less than one year after returning from Juventus in a £20 million deal, the five-time Ballon d'Or winner stunned the club's management when he said he wished to leave if they receive a suitable offer for him this summer. And while his agent, Jorge Mendes, has been talking to different clubs and testing the transfer market for his clients, no official talks with any club have taken place yet. But among a host of top clubs, Bayern has been touted for a likely transfer of Ronaldo, if certain conditions are met. Should Bayern sign Ronaldo this summer? Here are four reasons why it would be a sensible transfer for them. Like United, Bayern themselves are in danger of losing their goal-scoring machine this summer, with Lewandowski having publicly admitted his eagerness for a new challenge elsewhere. Although the German champions have insisted that the Polish international is not for sale and will stay until his contract runs out next year, Barcelona is pushing hard for his signature, and when he inevitably puts pen to paper, his departure will leave a void in Bayern's front line that would be hard for any replacement striker to fill, perhaps with the exception of Ronaldo. Ronaldo would be the ideal short-term solution if Lewandowski were to leave Bayern, someone who'd guarantee at least 25 to 30 goals a season, and by delivering for one to two years, it'll give Bayern enough time to look for a younger striker for the future who fits their so-called philosophy. And on that note, while you might take Oliver Kahn's words as a sign that Bayern probably won't make a move for Ronaldo, we should take every public statement with a grain of salt. After all, behind everything said publicly lies an intention, and Bayern's intentions here lie with the future of Lewandowski. In actuality, Bayern might just have made their claim to play their cards right in the Lewandowski saga. How? Well, if they were to publicly show interest in Ronaldo, it would hint that they're officially looking for a replacement striker, and Barcelona, in turn, would likely take that as an opportunity to drag down Bayern's asking price what for is Lewandowski. Like three so now, until Barca can pay exactly the amount Bayern are asking for, which is somewhere between 50 to 60 million euros, he is not for sale. Bayern, by contrast, will want the saga to drag out as long as possible to buy themselves more time to look for another striker. Seeing as Bayern could invest the transfer fee generated for Lewandowski more or less one-to-one -one in bringing Ronaldo to Germany, including his transfer fee and wages for one to two seasons, then yes, it would be a sensible transfer. His wage demands shouldn't be a problem either, especially if he will be satisfied with a salary similar to that of Lewandowski, which he probably will be given his age and eagerness to add more silverware to his glittering CV before retirement. And as we've seen in his last transfer, he wasn't opposed to taking what was a fairly significant pay cut to move to United and take on a new challenge. However, if Bayern were to strengthen their backline by assigning De Ligt from Juventus, who comes with a heftier transfer fee, then it might deter the club from signing Ronaldo in the end. What Bayern have declared publicly is that they would prefer not to go into the new season without an experienced striker, hence the links to players of Ronaldo and Harry Kane's caliber. Although the latter was discussed internally within the club, he isn't an option for this summer due to the high financial package. So aside from Ronaldo, there aren't too many other great replacement options to complete Bayern's attack, with potential candidates like Erling Haaland, Darwin Nunes and Patrick Schick having all either been snapped up by other clubs or signed contract extensions to stay where they are. A couple of weeks ago, Mane was signed to bring more firepower to Bayern's front line, but he is naturally still a winger that excels at creating chances with his explosiveness and physicality. And while I fully expect him to play some games as centre forward like he occasionally did at Liverpool, it would still take him some time to adapt to the position. Few names in the footballing world carry as much clout as Ronaldo, and his marketability shows no sign of fading. 
For instance, it is reported that United has sold 187 million pounds worth of Ronaldo shirts in the first two weeks of September 2021 alone. In short, what Bayern would be getting out of a Ronaldo signing would be the clout of the world's most popular footballer, skyrocketing shirt sales, and a new and massive following on social media. Ultimately, a potential Ronaldo transfer to Bayern would be a win-win for both parties. Bayern would be getting the perfect short-term striker solution, while Ronaldo would be playing in a league he's never played in before, making his accomplishments more comprehensive and giving him one final chance at competing for Europe's most illustrious trophies. Do you think Bayern will sign Ronaldo? Let me know your thoughts in the comments below. As always, hit the like button if you enjoyed this video, and I'll see you in the next one.